Hello, welcome to Invictus Motors. My name is Bashir Zahir. Today we'll be talking about the Tesla Model 3 Long Range. And what I'll be covering in this video is and all you need to know about the Model 3, how you charge it, what sort of a space it offers from a practicality point of view, and above all, what sort of a spec that you get on a Tesla Model 3 Long Range. And we'll start off by describing the spec on this Tesla. But before I can get into this, please don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and just wanted to say a massive thank you in advance for watching this video because we earn money by you watching this video which we donate to a UK registered charity and at the pro uh, and at the current moment that charity is in the process of building a school in Afghanistan so it's it's it's, it's a country that could do with a bit of help and this is where I'm from so once again thank you now onto this Tesla Model 3 Long Ridge firstly it's finished in a very desirable color that is the silver midnight metallic color you don't see that every day on Teslas, which is a really nice touch. And it's complemented by the 18-inch aero alloys. These are the kind of alloys that work phenomenally well from an aerodynamic point of view and work extremely well with an EV car. Teslas, a standard, you will have the front and the rear LED headlights. You've got a boot at the front and a boot on, in the rear. And in terms of just the overall look and feel to it, they are premium um, quality cars they're very well built and they can easily do in excess of uh, you know a hundred thousand miles as you can see from some of the older Teslas that are currently available on the market and being on that topic let's just actually talk about the warranties because the warranty sh a warranty the longer the warranty on a vehicle to me it shows that that manufacturer believes in their product the Teslas in terms of uh, a full coverage for the whole vehicle. Uh, they provide a, a limited four years Tesla warranty that literally covers everything you, you need on that vehicle. Now they also provide an eight year cover for the motor unit and for the battery. So something like this, which is on a 69 plate registered on the 14th of September, it will have the warranty cover until um, 13 September 2023 for the whole vehicle and then for the battery unit and for the electric motor until 13 September 2027. Why don't we actually just get into and start talking about what it's like on the inside because it's the look and feel of a car on the inside to me is what sells a car. So right from the get-go as I'm sitting in the driver's seat the doors feels nice and light when you're opening and closing them very easy. To actually open the doors there's a, a button here on the door handle you press it and it sort of flicks open it has a good feel to it when you shut it you've got this leather steering wheel uh, with um, your gear select lever right up here and your signal indicator and you've got uh, a multifunctional well literally two buttons to allow you to control most of the settings that you need um, here on the steering wheel such as like your sound and pick up and dropping of telephone calls on the inside you've got this piano inlay look to it you've got this wood finish to it um, additionally all the cold air is actually blown through here and you can actually control uh, how much of the cold or warm air is blown this way or that way or perhaps it may be uh, it might need to be in the center you also get this very big iPad like screen which allows you to control everything you need to control on this vehicle from folding your mirrors to wipers to opening your glove box um, your steering controls whatever you need it's all up here you've got another menu that allows you to control your pedals and steering that is should you want your acceleration standard or chill steering in comfort standard or sports mode or stopping do you want it to creep a little roll a little bit or hold a little bit and all of that obviously helps with the regenerative side of it in terms of charging which we'll get to in a minute in terms of how you charge it where you charge it and what kind of a plug you need to use to charge your tesla but you've got the full autopilot um, spec on this that's uh, a close to 60 uh, not 60 sorry 6,000 pound spec item and also another really big spec item are these premium upholstery seats um, and uh, they are absolutely amazing to have I think it, it, it's a must-have item on a Tesla and you've also got the premium um, sound system I think with 14 speakers and a subwoofer and an amp and etc some of the other settings um, in terms of safety, navigation, whatever it may be, it, it's all controlled through this menu here. You get a very big 
uh, navigational display here and everything you need in terms of opening the front bonnet, the rear bonnet, unlocking the vehicle, all of it could be just controlled from this diagram here. So let's just now talk about the practicality. And to talk about the practicality, you've got this very spacious space here at the front and you also have got a very spacious three seat layout at the back. And because it's an electric car, everything is, as a matter of fact, built in underneath. Uh, therefore, the overall cabin space has a look and a feel of a very spacious car. And you've got this massive double pan um, glass roof, literally starting from the, the, the beginning of where your rear uh, bonnet is to where you, your front bonnet literally starts here or, or your windscreen all of this is a glass screen and it's obviously has the um, right tint to it uh, from a solar point of view so that the, the vehicle doesn't get too hot so it kind of protects itself so hopefully this is just a little bit of that side of it let me actually just open the back door again very luxurious very well put together and obviously you've got the extended leather package with the Alcantara so a very nice item before we show you the back boot, because I'll use that to jump onto the next phase of the video, let me just show you the front boot. This is the front boot. This Tesla has barely actually been used. As you can see, that front carpet, um, it's still in its, in its an original plasticky uh, material that it was provided with. Now, to the back of the Tesla. This is where you get this astonishingly spacious boot space and to make it even more spacious they've got another boot under it this is just crazy so you can put your buggies in there put all the kids bicycles you know the tiny bicycles whatever it may need now in terms of charging very easy if you are going to be charging it at home through your three-point plug you get a nice suitcase like this um, this end of it will go will go in here and to open that just got to go into the vehicle just go into the vehicle press a button to open that this will literally slide in here at the top and somewhere in here I just need to find my three-point plug that will go into somewhere inside of your house through your window or perhaps you just have a, a, a point at your house or you could worst case scenario get a waterproof extension lead let's now put this back in safely as has been used boot shut and talk to you a little bit about how accessible Tesla from a technology point of view makes it in terms of getting in and out of your vehicle. For that you need a Tesla app and let me show you mine. So the app on the phone allows you to connect everything you need to connect to in the car such as switching on the air conditioning or the heating or unlocking your front, the rear bonnet, the doors, whatever it may need to be. I mean it will literally do it all from as well as opening and closing your charge point uh, from starting your charge from stopping your charge and how many amps you want the car to charge at it will do everything it needs it to do from again once again from a technology point of view I think Tesla have come probably much further in creating an electric car that is usable that you can basically live with both from an infrastructure, from a charging point of view, from a range point of view, extremely well. And talking about ranges, why don't we actually get behind the wheel, drive it to tell you a little bit about what it's like to drive and at the same time, what sort of BHP, uh, not to 60 times and what sort of torque you actually get from the car. So firstly, your keys are nicely presented uh, in this Tesla pouch sort of a thing. This is what the key looks like. And to get into your Tesla or to lock your Tesla, that's if you haven't got the app downloaded on your phone, is practically by well, just, you see it all lock up. Let's touch it one more time. Unlocks and the door is, you push your thumb here, that slides out and that's about it. 
Okay, now onto the inside. This is an experience in itself. And uh, it can be quite a nervous moment the first time you get into a Tesla. And that is because you don't hear the combustion engine sound. So one can feel <laughs> as if they're on a flying carpet. And the wipers you can also control through there as well. And uh, our dealership is through this road, which isn't very well built up, but does. But the Tesla does a phenomenal job going through this pothole sort of a road. There aren't any noises, any clunking bangs or undesirable noises, noises coming anywhere from the vehicle or from the suspension. We are going to turn left now and take it onto, onto the main road here and tell you a little bit what it's like from an acceleration point of view. Oh. You can easily get a whiplash just from accelerating in a Tesla. That is not down to the fact how much beach speed it has, um, which if you need to know, it's just over 300 brake horsepower. But as a matter of fact, how smooth the power is transferred to the wheels which is why you get the 0 to 60 miles per hour times in less than 4.5 seconds in this dual motor Tesla Model 3 long range and this display is very handy this shows you the road ahead as you can see, the sensors are telling us where the grass is, where the road lines are, and it detects and monitors any obstacles up ahead a lot quicker than, than a human eye or if there's a car um, coming in the opposite direction and they're trying to overtake a tractor and you don't see them, the car will actually sense that and alert you to the danger. And obviously, the settings can all be adjusted through the screen there. And the full self-pilot mode uh, you can activate just through the gear selector lever. You just practically press that all the way down. And in terms of the, the overall usability of the Tesla, it's not filled with you know, loads of buttons cluttered all over the place where you know, you've got to switch this on, switch that on, switch this on. I mean, you press a button and this now has your climate control activated your heat heated seats are all there so they've made the screen as easy to use as you can possibly find it on a car and the front is the, the, the front view here thank god doesn't have a dash and I, I know some people that love a sports car is going to miss a lot of that but you know, at the end of the day, this is where the world is headed to. This is where the demand is. Um, and, you know, it, it's just the way it is, I guess. Now, in terms of battery, this has 85% battery remaining. It's recommended not to charge your Tesla at more than 80% of the battery, just so that it can maintain the uh, longevity of the battery. Um, I forgot to set the settings yesterday at 80%, um, therefore it went, you know, slightly over 80% when I was charging it, but at 85% it has 252 miles. This from factory, it's the long range, 320 miles um, range that you get. Now from a range point of view, it's very accurate. Uh, obviously, some of it is weather dependent. The range might drop slightly if it's in rather colder conditions. Uh, and additionally, if it's raining and the tires are not having the tractions that they're meant to, 
that they're meant to have so obviously these things um, will affect the range but other than that you get what's quoted here uh, you barely ever need to touch the brakes unless you know you are in traffic or you you like your your brakes but a lot of the times if you can anticipate a bit of traffic up front and as soon as you have your foot off the accelerator you know as soon as you have your foot off the accelerator the car starts to brake and you can actually see how quickly that speed drops so let, let me just illustrate one more time and that's all to do with the regenerative braking side of it and this helps you to charge the battery and now as you can see 50 miles an hour foot of the accelerator we're at 35 30 and that's in no time so the range is you are going to get very close to what you're quoted and you can also watch the the battery uh, from here or sorry the, the charging from here and uh, you can click on this button where it says strips and that can tell you um, the kind of uh, energy usage that the battery uh, is, is, is you know the, uh, the average energy that the battery is using over let's just say four miles my last trip was four miles which is this current trip 14 miles or the one before that is 165 miles and this is a very good way of knowing um, what your driving style is like as well and also some of the other things the Teslas are all are also very smart at is um, if you're driving in very rainy conditions or cold or wet sort of conditions um, it can also predict um, it can also predict just the amount of charge that you're going to be getting out of your car throughout your throughout the remaining it sort of predicts and estimates um, you know if, if it's dry conditions and the range says you've got 250 miles and depending on your driving style you might end up getting 270 miles. Um, so it, it, it does a brilliant job predicting that uh, and you know forecasting the remaining range. And now the last part of this test drive is just some of the other functions such as dash cam. So you've got a camera on that B pillar, the passenger side B pillar, the driver side, you've got a camera at the front and a camera at the back. So if I was to signal, you see it tells us what's in that blind spot there let's have a look to the right to make sure it's all good and now if I signal right it will show the camera on that side so now I can safely turn and obviously it has auto uh, beam assist um, auto headlights uh, I mean it's just filled with so much spec it makes a person's life from a driving point of view so easy and one thing I absolutely love about it is just all the space that's in the car um, just phenomenal you know you've got this glass there and all the space that you've got is is just incredible I mean this has a lot of spec um, it's also been very well maintained for a car that's done uh, 3,000 miles, uh, sorry, 30,000, uh, so for a car that's done exactly, uh, let me just check the mileage, so I thought that for a car that's done 30,773 miles, it's done incredibly well. What's <laughs> so for a car that's done 30,000 miles, uh, it still feels and drives like it's just come off the production line, um, no creaks, no, no bad unwanted signs. Everything works extremely well, exactly as you should. Um, so I hope I've answered as many questions as one may have. Uh, I know things like how long it takes to charge the battery. I mean, if you're charging this at home and if the charge was at about 40% and you wanted to get it to about 80%, it can take up to about 14, hours to charge from home that's you being able to get an additional 150 miles worth of range but you know a lot of the journeys that people in general uh, normally do from an everyday point of view are probably anywhere you know five to ten miles 
um, and these work incredibly well, especially in traffic. It doesn't use up much electricity or well, m much charge. Um, and if you're going to be doing a lot of motorway mileage, uh, you've got the Tesla supercharging infrastructure, so you can get 200 miles in about 15 minutes. So very rapid, very good, and I've used their infrastructure charging. So if you are looking for a Tesla, we've got this in stock. This is a VAT inclusive Tesla. So you can claim back from your business about £7,000 in VAT. And the whole car in itself, you can actually deduct the cost of buying an electric car from your um, incorporation tax. So thank you. See you into the next video. Bye bye.